Hi, my name is Jamie Long and in this video I'm going to be describing the hot pathology um, bone spavin. Um, so bone spavin is a degenerative, degenerative joint disease. Um, it, this is osteoarthritis of the tarsometatarsal joint and proximal intertarsal, intertarsal joint. Um, it's only seen in older horses um, as it's an acquired condition. Um, Obviously, just being degenerative, it just gets worse over time. Um, this has resulted as um, as uh, from horizontal shear forces over a period of time. Um, it's obviously, like I say, found in matured horses. There's a couple of stages to it. That's an acute stage um, and a chronic and a chronic stage. Um, on that chronic stage, there'll be radiographic changes. Uh, bone spavin is located. Um, on the dorso medial aspect of the distal intertarsal and tarsometatarsal joint. Um, it is commonly uh, bilateral um, and sometimes affects the proximal intertarsal joint. Um, bone spavin at first presents an inflammatory stage. Um, here there'll be heat, pain, uh, and swelling to start with. Um, the chronic stage, moving on to that, um, they'll have, there'll be some palpitation there. Um, and there'll also be, like, you can also, we'll also see visual bone changes. Um, going on to the gait and stuff, it'd be, you'd see a gait change as well. Um, you know, it's, it'll also be dragging its toes. Um, it be you know it be landed hard on that lateral side, um, yeah. Like I say, excessive lateral shoe wear. Um, you know, it's obviously been caused by excessive forces, and obviously that and what's landed on that. Obviously, not wanting to bear weight on that outside uh, on the inside, putting more weight on the lateral side. You know, having excessive wear. Um, it's just uh, obviously mainly caused by after years of just trauma. Um, and obviously confirmation is another major cause as well because you know horses that are sort of cow with tickle hopped um they tend to get bone spavin more than other normal confirmation um it also just depends on their work as well their discipline really um you know it's stuff that's on the surface and like you know putting strain on the the joint more so like jumping obviously having to jump off over the jump and obviously land in putting excessive shearing forces and you know dressage as well um sinking into that surface and stuff so um yeah obviously as a farrier treatment we'd obviously the vet treatment to start with they they come out and they'd administer NSAIDs and and stuff um as they as us as farriers we'd want to put a um you can put a graduated shoe on with a set toe a bit of an extension um obviously you can also just put a lateral extension on and just give it a lot more you know you want to be putting a bigger section onto it nice and heavy because obviously it's going to be landing excessively on that lateral side so um but yeah so the owner needs to be keeping up with regular shoeing bases and obviously the barrier needs to keep that foot balanced you know obviously it's going to have, be very high in the inside every time so the farrier needs to keep on top of that. Um, so the owner needs to be addressing that as well. Um, yeah, so keep it on top of that because obviously if you leave it, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So, so yeah, obviously the prognosis isn't great. Obviously it's never going to recover from it. So um, yeah, it's poor. Um, obviously as it's in older horses, it's they're not getting any younger. So. So yeah, it's going to be with them for the rest of their life. So, um, but obviously, once the the chronic stage is over, it's it's not too bad. But yeah, that's my video on uh, bone spurs.